this video, we're going to talk about the blade shock and the infrared signals. More of than that, we're going to talk about TV beacon, remote receiver and transmit. This content is for educational purposes only. Please read the four points below before you proceed. If you want to use this knowledge, please be aware only to use it on your own possessions. Do not hack anyone that is illegal and you can go to jail. So we're looking at the infrared signals here on InfiShark's website. And we have TV be gone, which is, you know, shutting off TVs with just one button. We got remote control that you can kind of remote in it. Now, <clears throat> I'm not directly using any built-in remote. What I'm doing in the video today is I'm going to demonstrate the TV be gone. And I'm going to demonstrate the receiver and the transmit. Now, then I'm going to record my own. Uh, I have a... Um, it's called an edifier of the brand, the uh, the loudspeakers that I have, and I have a control for it, which is controlled by infrared signals. And that one I'm gonna record on the blue shack right here, and I'm gonna show that in the video also as well. Then I'm gonna turn off my edifier and loudspeakers, and that's really what I'm gonna show in this video. So we are looking at the infrared signals and I'm just going to give a few more words on this. Now the receiver can be used to more than just turn on and off your own appliances of course. If you want to let's say help your neighbor by turning on and off the light in their garden and that is controlled by infrared control from somewhere you can also try and record it but you need to be kind of close. So <clears throat> infrared signals are of course something that diminishes or distance so you need to be in a close vicinity in order to record it using the blade shark so let's take a look at how i turn off a tv and just after that let's take a look at how i record the remote control for my edifier loudspeakers and turn them on and off turn to the menu of infrared and choosing tv be gone it's gonna run through different signals and turn off the tv just like that what you're seeing here is the Blade Shark line with my Edify remote control. I'm in the menu of Learn on our infrared signals. And I just casually press the on and off button and it records that signal onto the Blade Shark. Here I'm showing you the menu that I have recorded it. And I'm just learning how to go back. I'm going to hold the button. And now it's scanning again. I know we should do that. I already have one, so I'm going to send the button. On the learn, I'm going to scroll to the right. And on the transmit, I will select, and I actually pressed two times. It was a flaw, but trying to auto focus a bit, you can see that I recorded different kinds of signals. Or I can do like select left and up and so on. What I'm going to focus on. Primarily, it's going to be the power button, the one that I actually pressed on the remote control. So I did record a lot, just by one button. And now I'm trying the Blade Shark, sorry for the dust, and the messy desk. So I have it on power, I'm pressing the button, and you can see the small light turn on and off on my loudspeakers. Now I'm turning them on again using the Blade Shark and we can see that it turned on. Just so that you can see how to access the learn infrared, go to the right, press learn, pick TV or other. I picked other for the loudspeakers and then scan. So as we just saw using a very simple approach from InfiShark, we can actually do the same thing as the Flipper Zero can do. I'm going to beg the differ that, you know, this device is probably easier to use in terms of just recording the actual infrared signals. Now, I'm also going to say that, you know, the Flipper Zero, because I'm actually comparing it to the Flipper Zero, because I believe this is the most promising Flipper Zero alternative there is in the market these days. 
Now, <clears throat> Pico Zero, of course, can do a bit more additional things because you can program it and write your own scripts to it, and it has actual firmware you can access, which is something that is, you know, giving people the power of creating their own firmware. But you know, yeah. once more time, I'm gonna say, who is doing that? So having all this control, having all these kind of features and ways to do stuff, people love to talk about it, love to brag about the idea that, oh, the Fable is just much more powerful because blah, 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 yada, yada. And I want to say like, sure, but if you want something handheld, a lot cheaper, now five times, six times cheaper than Fable Zero, and you even don't have to buy the Wi-Fi module, you want something working with auto updates, you want something handheld, a little more fun and interactive in a certain way. You know, Bleeshark is going to offer that to you. So I'm going to point you towards the Bleeshark infishark.com website and pay attention to wherever you can go ahead and do a pre-order on it. Then it's time for you to go ahead and sign up and order the unit if you want a Fever Zero alternative that is actually looking really, really good. And so far, I'm really pleased with testing the device. I'm going to say thank you one more time for the Shark for saving me this wonderful small unit. I actually really like it. I think it's really nice to hear the buttons pressing like that. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can. So next video, I'm going to do a new feature. I'm going to look at the Blade Shark one more time. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so because you will then receive the updates whenever I release a new video if you of course click the bell like the video comment on it if you have any questions i'm going to do my best to reply see you out there and have a really nice day